Hello everyone and welcome to This and That. Today I'm going to be reviewing Panzoid.com, so let's get started. This website's pretty cool. You can create your own clips, change your background, or even edit videos. And also there's a lot of community content on here as well, free to everyone. Let's click on Clipmaker 2 here. And it'll bring you to this menu here and there's a lot of community content here for you already or you can click here for more creations right here you can create your own custom introductory video or any clip you want to make uh, to put into a video you can add audio you can click on any one of these right here and it will change to that one some of them have audio and a lot of them don't but you can add your own audio or upload it hopefully this one has audio so i can show you guys Okay, it has audio. So if you click on this little bar right here, it'll it'll show you if, it, if there's audio available or not. Um, and then you click this eye icon right here, the screen will go black, and then you click play. That's a little preview of a video that you can make. Go over here to the side menu, Add object, find the text, click on that, and then you can change your name here. Then when you click out of it, it'll change. You have to do it twice. There's two different layers on here. We'll just do that. And then we can click preview. And there's a lot of other things you can do on here. You can add effects, you can make camera animations, you can change the position of your camera and the rotation, set it so it shakes a little bit, and set the shake speed on it. And there's advanced shake settings for X, Y, and Z coordinates. This is where you add your own music. You just click select to choose your audio file. And you can start the offset, change the volume mode from fade in and out, custom. Custom just lowers the volume, fade in and out, you can set when the volume fades in and when it fades out, or when the music does. Set your pan settings, download your file, fast render, balance, good quality or extreme quality. Good quality is a good way to go. Format is MKV or WebM, depending on your application. You can have those two options right there. And then you click start video render. This is your information tab for current updates and recent updates and the feedback menu so you can add suggestions or if you guys have any comments. And that's it for today's video. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you guys can click on the link and check it out. If you guys like this video, please leave a like and if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to ask and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. And also subscribe if you wanna see more reviews like this one on other products and reviews. And I'll see you in the next video.